What is up, MV peeps? You got Ratana and myself here, and we're gonna be showcasing some of the very special MVP OTB releases. We're gonna be doing a challenge on 12 holes out here at the beautiful Harlow Platts. The amazing flat irons looming over us. Ratana has a six stroke handicap out here on a 12 hole layout. And what we're gonna do is, there is 12 unique releases. They're coming in two different waves. So I'll have all the information linked on the MVP website down below, but we're gonna be throwing a new disc on every single hole. If we get into circle two, then we can putt with our regular putter. Her putter is an Electron Soft Envy, and I'm an Electron Firm Nomad, but off the tee, we're throwing a unique OTB exclusive MVP disc. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So, without further ado, are you ready? Yeah, do you tell them about the bet? What? Oh yeah, the bet, the <laughs> bet. Whoever reigns victorious can take a disc out of the other person's collection. So, very high stakes. All right, let's get started. Okay, so hole number one, we're just doing this itty bitty guy. We're going to this red basket. Honestly, it's probably like 170 feet. But the disc we're gonna be throwing is the Proton Soft Glitch. Oh my goodness. A Proton Glitch, ladies and gentlemen, feels really good. It's transparent and it feels like it's gonna be awesome like usual. So, hole one, throwing the glitch. So this is our first time ever throwing these discs. We just bagged them and we're doing it for this challenge. So let's see how it goes. Hole one is just right there. It's about 153 feet. She's going around the outside. All right, there you go. Well, they're pretty glidy. They went pretty far. Proton soft glitch 149. I honestly like Tana's play around the outside because I'm scared to go up the middle right now. Oh, he corrected it. Nice and glidy. Marked it. All right, I can start chipping away at that six stroke lead. All right, got a little crosswind right to left. Cashed it. Nice pot. Thank you. Wishes he did not give me that six stroke handicap. Yeah. All right, some important notes on these discs. They are all exclusive releases for the OTB Open. MVP is a partner of the OTB Open and they release so many cool plastic combinations that have never been before seen. Every once in a while, some new discs. And as we go through this challenge, you'll see all the super beautiful, super good feeling uh, plastic combos. And yes, all these will be available at a dealer near you. And also, if you can, come out to the OTB Open, spectate. MVP will be set up there as well. It's gonna be awesome. All right, we're on to hole two. And what do we have here? We have an Eclipse Orbital. Eclipse Orbital. Feels that pretty flat, a little bit more stable than the regular orbitals that I throw. So let's test it out in a headwind, see what happens. Oh, some action off the tree. That's the guardian tree on hole two. <laughs> Also Eclipse Orbital 173. Orbital is known to be probably one of the flippiest 11 speed slots within all of MVP's lineups. And uh, Eclipse generally makes it a little bit more overstable. We have a left to right win. <laughs> I'm just trying to throw like a powered down hyzer out to the right. Kind of make up some strokes. Oh my gosh, the power down hyzer still flipped. 
Did I throw it over the fence? Harlow's generally pretty short, so we should be putting on most of the holes, but in the case that we're outside circle two, we gotta throw the disc we threw off the tee again. I this one's gonna be to close. Throw. You might have to throw an approach shot with the orbital. I think so. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, so it seems like I'm still outside circle two. I think I'm gonna play the hyzer route with the orbital. Throw it on a fan grip and just pitch it up there. Yeah, works. I just ran to get my disc. I was over the fence, out of bounds. And I'm outside circle two. Just gonna chip it up and take my medicine. Now you're overstable. Eight strokes ahead. Yeah. Definitely didn't do the orbital justice on that hole, but I mean, it didn't come back, which is a good thing because the orbital is meant to be pretty understable. Really great turnover disc. Ratana was actually ripping it through the woods at USW DGC. Yes. So for lower arm speeds or even higher arm speeds, if you want to get like a sweet hyzer flip or roller, I definitely recommend the orbital. Ratana's in the lead and then this disc is going to be a Proton Soft Hex. Ooh, that sounds so nice. Sit. Oh my gosh. Great shot. Well, I went long. Proton Soft Hex. Come on, give me an ace. Ooh, right past And I'm longer mine. than you. For this year's releases, I feel like there's a ton of softer plastic, whether it be Proton Soft, Neutron Soft. So I think it's been kind of a fan favorite because it's just, it's nice to have that give in your hand. It feels like it's a lot more, uh, you're able to manipulate the shot a lot better. So Proton Soft Hex is amazing. And then as you, this video goes on, you'll see us throwing a lot more of the soft plastic and uh, I think you guys are really gonna like it. This is out. Mm -hmm. Oh! Are you kidding me? Nine stroke lead? Am I really gonna post me just getting obliterated by my girlfriend? Yeah, I am. Maybe I don't even need handicap anymore. On to hole four, and we're actually throwing a Eclipse color. Eclipse drift. And this is very exciting because it's the first time Streamline is ever releasing a disc in color Eclipse. And I think this is going to be something you see a lot more in the future. The drift is kind of like a really slept on disc. Think of like a a little bit more overstable. It's very adjacent to a Crave, but just a little bit different hand feel. I know uh, Joey Tamale is really liking the drift. All right, feels like a headwind. I'll be throwing the color drift on a slight hyzer right and see what happens. like it. And for the record, everything is going to fly a little bit more overstable because we are up here in Colorado. So most people are going to throw these discs and they're going to act a little bit straighter than what you're seeing. <laughs> kind of close. I might get a birdie. Oh my gosh, he, he got made a, a putt! Party, you guys. Yes! <gasps> and she made a putt as well. It's not getting ahead of me. All right, we're on hole five. The hole is slightly downhill. We'll be throwing the Eclipse 
watt. Ooh. Kind of excited for this. I love the watt already in Neutron. So let's see if it acts a little bit more overstable in Eclipse. Kind of go straight at it. And let's see what happens. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> bang That's the a sign. <laughs> shot. So you're saying there's a chance. All right, I got the Eclipse Watt, and the Watt's honestly been one of my favorite discs. When I was in Texas, I was throwing it a lot at wooded courses. I like it. I like it a lot. Ooh. Hopefully he doesn't shank Don't it Don't unsubscribe, like me. please. That was really bad. Dad jokes. Oh, it throws it All so right. much better. That is very short, but at least I didn't hit the sign. I've never been over here before. I think I'm just gonna go straight slight hyzer. and hopefully that works. I've played this course all my life and I don't think I've ever <laughs> been where you're at right now. Kind of a putt. Thank you. Whew. He finally got ahead of me. How does it feel to be chased by a raging bull? Feels great. That was clutch. Love playing under pressure. I think this is probably one of the most anticipated releases for this year. The Proton Soft Tempo. The Tempo was originally released as a circuit challenge disc and uh, the people who've thrown them love them. Uh, hasn't got an official release yet, but the Proton Soft, in theory, is gonna be a little bit more overstable, a little bit more give, and it's absolutely beautiful. So I think you guys are gonna love this disc, and I think I'm gonna love this disc too. I've been really debating about putting a tempo in the bag. So this hole is very short. I'm just gonna be throwing it out to the right a little bit, have it dump in but Proton Soft Tempo feels exquisite. Oh, maybe. Oh, it fell out of the sky. It's parked though. All right, this is mine. It's a beauty. If you don't know, my color combos are blue, white, and purple. A little bit of green as well. Let's see if I can give this an ace run. Oh, with the little pump. Well, pressure's on, he's parked. Oh my Sneaks goodness. Sneaks it in the left. I can pick yours up for you, sir. Thank you. Proton soft tempo. Bless. Hole number seven, we have the Prism Proton Hex. These feel really nice. I believe that these are going to be in a little bit lighter weight plastic. The one I'm going to be throwing is 168 grams, and I believe the one that Rattan is about to throw is 169 grams. So, if you like slightly lighter weights, these are going to be for you. Feel-wise, it's basically perfect. It feels so good. Just a very slight dome, and uh, I imagine it will fly very true to what a, a hex is meant to be. Oh, I just missed it. Yeah, that'll be dead straight, which is a touch of fade. Well, it seems like I still have an eight stroke lead. I'm gonna do a forehand for you guys with the hex. Get down. Sit. Ooh. All right, that went a little deep. Sorry for the bad filming. <laughs> Fun fact. This is actually the first hole that I ever birdied. Crazy. Rotana's got about a 25 to 30 footer uphill. Gosh. Roll, 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 roll. No. Roll. <laughs> nice. I got one. another one. I don't think I have enough holes left right now. <laughs> Yay, I'm almost tied with Rotana for the round without the handicap. 
All right, this next disc is probably the flippiest mid in all of MVP's lineup, which I'm actually really excited to throw. It is a Proton Soft Paradox. The softer flight plate really makes this a very unique feeling disc, very comfortable in the hand. I think it's gonna be really good for some kind of technical rollers, but like scramble shots, or if you're just starting out, a kind of slightly understable mid-range. Without further ado, we're on to hole eight, and we have another walker <laughs> that we need to wait for. But I'll talk just a little bit more about the Paradox. If you look right there, you can tell the nose angle really kind of swoops down, making the parting line very low. And that generally is what makes a very understable disc. Okay, hole eight is tucked on the right side, probably about 240 feet. Let's see how understable the Paradox really is. It's very understable, but that's actually really nice. All right, I'm parked. Let's go. Oh my gosh, so flippy. It became a roller. All right, Rotana's on the brink of being circle tube, but for the video's sake, we're just gonna say she's in circle two, so she'll use the paradox again. I'll do a stepper on a slight hyzer. Oh, it's right in front of it. And he gets another one on me. Back to six strokes. All right, usually that is the tee pad, but as you can tell, it has a puddle and it's all nasty. So we're gonna actually go from four's tee pad, which honestly we do a lot of the time because it makes hole nine just a little bit longer. For hole nine, we have a Neutron Soft Crave. This one's 171. I think this one's going to be honestly a fan favorite just because with the Crave, it feels really good and the soft feels even better. So, I don't know what the stability is gonna be like on this. I imagine slightly less overstable than your typical Crave, but it'll be kind of hard to tell right now because I'm just gonna throw a big hyzer because I wanna fight back as many strokes as I can. Released good, good glide. Nice That's and short. Fun. Well, I'm going to take the straight route just a little bit more left. Let's we'll see what this disc does. Straight still with Still pretty straightable, yeah. All right, so still outside circle two. I'm going to give it a bit with the Crave again. Roll. I call upon Jump Putt Jones. I need you. I need this right now, Jump Putt Jones. Please. Jump Putt Jones! Then you have pickleball over there. Five strokes. I need a miracle. We have three holes left to play. Miracles I always root for you playing a tournament. Unless you're playing but against I really me. hope that you decide to really suck right now. Yep. I hope to get an ace. I really don't want to know what discs she's going to take from my collection. Because I like my blue discs and she's like, she comes after them. She's scary sometimes when she's down at the disc stash. She comes <laughs> at him and she's like, oh, this is my blue disc. I'm like, no, it's not. He's disc. like, yeah, it is. My but this time it's going to be like, yeah, it is mine. I'm like, yeah, it is. Sucks to lose. <laughs> this is, I need a miracle. I need a miracle. We're on to hole one, about 230 feet. This disc is an Eclipse 
servo. And honestly, this is something that I'll probably debate putting in my bag because I'm really liking the servo and uh, these Eclipse ones feel really good. Got a walker. And we got another walker. I'm just gonna take a wide hyzer. I'm playing cheesy golf right now. I wanna not be embarrassed or that embarrassed. All right, that flew good. That Pretty flew parked. Good. Servo. Serve it up. Nice shot. Gosh, give me, give me a chance, okay? Mm. Please. I'm gonna Please. take all your blue discs. I'm on a good birdie streak right now. Another disc that I know people are really stoked about. This is a Prism Neutron Trance, which actually debuted at the OTB Open last year in Prism Proton. So we're bringing it back again this year. Don't know when an official release date is, but definitely get your hands on one for the OTB Open. I believe, what was the numbers again, Rantana? Eight, five, negative two, one. I think that's like pretty cool. There's not many eight speeds in the MVP lineup. There's so, only one in Axiom. Yeah, this is pretty straight flyer with maybe just like a touch of fade. We're on to essentially hole 11, but it is going to be three yellow, kind of a more open style shot, probably like 380, 390 foot downhill. I'm going to throw lefty. Oh, go, 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 go. Ooh, oh, I'm going to be using the trance again. Skip. Why'd I throw lefty? This will be my first time ever throwing the trance. And I'm usually scared to flex one right because there's tons of cars there during school hours. But right now you can see it's empty. I'm going to be doing a flex. You are now listening to a state of trance. Woo! Oh boy, she's in a state of trance. Are you ready to get uplifted? Woo! It's starting to be pretty safe to say that I'm losing a disc out of my collection. <laughs> Unless you have a catastrophe. Mm -mm. What disc are you gonna pick? No idea. No well, idea? We'll record it when we get home and they can see me rummaging through your stuff. We're going to have to do another challenge so I can get it back. Hopefully it's something you don't yeah. miss. Oh, we're going to miss it. I, could, I miss all my discs already. Oh, the, the catastrophe started. What do you mean? That was a safe bid. All right, jump at Jones. Shine your beautiful light on me once again. Does he get it, you guys? Oh, I think he hit oh, no. the basket and it rolled. And it keeps rolling. You this can't make this stuff up, folks. He's talking about himself. <laughs> Calamity. All right. Oh, it sneaks it in. I'm not <laughs> getting a bogey. I'll pick yours up, okay? Look at those beautiful mountains. Unreal. Final hole. I'm down a lot of strokes. I believe it's five. Five strokes. I'd only be beating Ratana by one right now without the handicap. So that was me she's playing, throwing she play, a forehand for funsies. Yeah, she played very well. Last but certainly not least, we have a Prism Proton Soft Vanish. I don't know the weight range on these. This one is 159 grams. I think they might be on the lighter side. Raton has been loving the Vanish. And the honestly, vanish. the shape on these is pretty unreal. It just feels so good. If you're in like the 300, or let's just say 250 to 350 foot power range, you need to try a Vanish because you're gonna love it. We're going to nine yellow, throwing from Forest Pad again. 
It's probably gonna be pretty is, flippy ooh. for me, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna rip a spike hyzer at it. Oh, that glides so nice. There's the basket tracking straight to All it. All right, that's nice. within 25. Flew really nice. Not too understable either. I have a feeling this disc is going straight in the bag for Ratana. So pretty. Oh, that's so nice. Nice shot. Love the vanish. Still outside circle two, so I still have to throw the vanish. Jump putt. Nice little that one layup. just knocked it straight down. He's gonna win. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh. He was more than 25 feet. That was my campaign. Closer than 25 feet. Miss. Oh. Mm -mm. Well, everybody, I got the ABD. You guys can figure out what that means, but <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out MVP for these exclusive OTB releases. They're pretty awesome. The orbital did me dirty. Still awesome. The what did me dirty? Smack the sign. <laughs> but uh, yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, tell him not to give me any more handicaps because I guess I've I don't learned need my it. lesson. No more handicaps. Stay to the end at the end of the end screen to see what disc Rotana picks. But like and subscribe. Until next time, keep on dreaming. Peace. All right, we're heading downstairs. Apparently Rotana picked the discs that she wants. I get to, she's being kind of nice because she gets to, I get to pick which of these discs I'm going to give to her. Oh no. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> this is, you know, Rebirth Envy. Definitely not. You really want that panic from Joey that bad? Mm -hmm. It's not that nice. It's not? It's really not that nice. I want this. What for? Because I don't have a backup Envy. I only have one Proton Eagle Envy. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Come on. It's the best option. Or... No, you can give me this. No, 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 no. That's mine. Well, look at all the metal in it. That's mine. Oh, that is so sick. If I give you the ABD, will you give me this? No, 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 you get that disc. You I'm get happy. that disc. Yeah, you better be happy. All right, see ya. No more losing.